In a shocking turn of events, it looks like Despicable Me 4 might trounce Inside Out 2 at the box office. Let's talk about this $200 million projected opening for Illumination here on That Park Place. Hello, I am Jonas J. Campbell, an investigative reporter for That Park Place, and here with me is my villainous friend, Vash Sky. Vash, what kind of villainy are we up to today? Ooh, the kind of villainy in which we supersede what is supreme and take the <laughs> crown for ourselves. In this case, it looks like Despicable Me might actually do that to Inside Out 2, which, by the way, thought unthinkable because Inside Out 2's trajectory has just been going up, up, up. But uh, there's a couple of reasons why we are optimistic very much That's so right. about Despicable Me. Let's talk about this article out of Deadline Despicable Me 4 to set off fireworks over Independence Day frame, global cumulative bound for potential $200 million plus by Sunday box office preview. This by not just Anthony D'Alessandro, but also Nancy Tartaglioni over there. That means that the international people and the domestic people are working together to uh, put this one in our queue today. Uh, families will not stop heading to the cinemas this week as Illumination and Universal's Despicable Me 4 storms into summer with what's looking like a 110 to 120 million five-day U.S. and Canada opening at 4,000 theaters. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of money. This, as Disney Pixar's Inside Out 2 remains strong after a third number one weekend, that pick heading to half a billion stateside before the week is up. It's worth pointing out that, that Inside Out 2 has done fantastic, a much needed return to form for Disney, at least from the box office side of things, if not the quality side, which I still say is, is not quite there for Pixar. Uh, good for them that they made some money. Despicable Me 4 has already hit 25.5 million from 20 offshore territories led by Australia. With the addition of 52 markets on July 3rd, including Mexico, Spain, and Brazil, the picks running overseas box office could jump to 75 to 80 million by Sunday. Those new markets look to deliver 45 to 50 million for the weekend after debuting on July 3rd, including previews. All in Despicable Me 4's global cube is bound to stand around two hundred million dollars by Sunday. Uh, that is a that is an amazing amount of money. Bash, are you going to go see Despicable Me 4? I'm not sure if I am, but uh, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to see what the reviews are, and maybe if the reviews are high enough, I might just go ahead and catch me in a theater with that film. If it has good word of mouth, and if it, if it has, a, uh, let's say, like a A, a plus cinema score, I don't really see this thing slowing down at all. I see it really catching fire here. It's going to be really interesting to see how that um, affects Inside Out 2, which is obviously going to be in theaters at the same point. And let's not forget, Jonas, the big differentiator between both of these pictures are the budgets. Uh, yes, that's true. That's true. $150 million or so for Despicable Me 4 and probably around $250 million for Inside Out 2. Let's talk about Inside Out 2 for context here. Inside Out 2 has done massive numbers for Disney so far. It is, uh, it's the first film to a billion this year. It's the first billion dollar film for Disney since 2019. So the question has then become with, with this and also like Bad Boys, which Bad Boys is not a movie that you would expect to change the world here, but it did pretty well at the box office. So the question is, is 2024 the year that the box office turns back on in the way that it was turned off after 2019 and 2020? And we don't need to get into all the reasons that the box office went away in 2020. And then people had to be brought back in and there were some questions about what was going into films as well on top of that. It was a mixed bag of things that kept people out of theaters and uh, probably a mixed bag of even after people were ready to spend money, they were held off by things that uh, I'm going to say were not in Inside Out 2. But right here, Inside Out 2 eyes $135 million global opening as summer box office rebound continues. Again, Anthony D'Alessandro and Nancy Tartaglioni, this from June 11th. $135 million opening. This was a big deal. Everyone was surprised. We were surprised by this, even though uh, we were watching the previews. I still was not sure I believed the previews at the time, but this obviously did fantastic. And again, as you pointed out, Vash, very astutely, $250 million in production budget that they are reporting from Disney and Pixar. Pixar had not had a hit in a very long time, sent straight to Disney Plus for, uh, for several uh, items over the last few years, but one in particular did make it into the box office. Vash, do you want to talk about the uh, box office outlook that, uh, that, that Lightyear had? 
<laughs> oh man, yeah, the, the Lightyear did not do very well at all, I believe. But globally, worldwide, after its theatrical uh, run there, I want to say it was like 226 or something like that. Really paltry numbers. And again, this was a big, big budget film for Pixar. It was going to be their big standout film for the entire year. And just it really did not do very well at all. I believe that was... Like you said, Jonas, the first Pixar film that had been released in theaters ever since Onward, I want to say. So that didn't really do uh, well at all. And a lot of people were concerned, right? Because who knows if these family films, these family animated films were you know, going to be viable going forward. I know there was an article. I forgot where the publication actually was, but the question really was, hey, is the Pixar model even viable in 2023 or 2024 onward? And to be honest, I think there was some merit to that, at least at the time, because it felt like uh, you know, families weren't going to the theaters. It was very expensive to go all out as a family, especially with food and popcorn. So are they necessarily inclined to go when you can actually just wait for it on streaming? Now, though, we see that these family films are just as viable as they've ever been and are really scoring the big numbers here. Right. And, uh, and I just want to point out that in 2022, the last movie in the somewhat Despicable Me Minions franchise, it did have Steve Carell in it. So at some point it becomes a question of, is this the same franchise or is this a spinoff? Uh, Minions Rise of Gru did make $940 million, So it didn't make more than a billion at the box office. But this is two years ago that uh, everyone was saying that the, the box office was not back yet. Of course, Illumination also since then has had movies like Super Mario Brothers, which that made a billion at the box office to the point where even Bob Iger said something about it on his earnings call. But but let's go back over here. Despicable Me 4 is on a staggered release pattern abroad to take advantage of holiday play. Left open are France, China, Germany, the UK, and Italy. So far, the fourth quill is setting franchise records. And as of Sunday, we're seeing the biggest result for a Despicable Me or Minions film in like-for-like -like markets at the same point. Well above uh, one, two, and three minions, and marginally above minions, the rise of Gru. It looks like this is uh, probably set to make a billion dollars. Vash, is this a return to form for the box office, or is this just the strength of the Despicable Me and Minions brands? Despicable Me Minions brands is definitely going to get people out. We saw Garfield didn't really do it. You know that much though but uh, despicable me is definitely a a current brand let's say there's a lot of enthusiasm surrounding this i think it's a six billion dollar franchise as it stands right now so uh, again i think that that has a lot to do with it also too i do think the theaters are coming back a little bit right here good trajectories overall those uh outstanding european territories when this thing opens up broad i think it's going to really definitely uh get people from 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 those areas to this film wow jonas I mean, it wasn't all that long ago when I think what a Trolls film was released and streaming and streaming exclusively at that point. And I remember, I think the head of Universal, when when that movie came out, was like, ah, oh, we don't need to put our uh, films in theaters at all. And then AMC was like, oh, yeah, you do. And then like took their films out of their theaters and so forth. They created a big controversy there. Eventually, they got it all sorted out. But but now coming out of all of that, it looks like the box office is finally recovering and consistently, I will say. Yes, I, I, I will totally agree there. I think this is a good sign for all theaters. I think this is actually a good sign for Disney. Uh, Universal last year beat Disney at the box office. The question is, will Universal beat Disney this year? Actually, that's a good one to throw to the commenters here. Looking at Universal's slate of movies and Disney's slate of movies, uh, Deadpool obviously coming out uh, later this month. And, uh, also, too, Wicked just moved week before right there. That's going to be an interesting thing to watch, too, as it didn't want to necessarily debut on the same day as Moana, too. And uh, and the question I have, will, will Disney get to the point that culturally meaningless movies, I won't say which one we're talking about here, but it might be a live action remake. It might be a prequel to a live action remake. Those check the box movies. Will those be getting back to the billion dollar mark? Uh, yet again. Uh, what do you think about the situation here? Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like this video if you like this video and consider subscribing to That Park Place for all the news that should be fun. Thanks for watching That Park Place News. For more information, consider checking out www.thatparkplace.com. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and send this out on your favorite social media account.